Hi, I'm Daniel with Multicubing, and I say that you should start off with one Rubik's Cube and then move on to more, bigger and better. I have about 10 different Rubik's Cubes, and I will eventually have a video on how to solve each one of them. But today, I'm going to show you how to solve the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. I've been solving the 3x3 for about 8 years now, and have successfully taught 10 or 12 people. I have searched both YouTube and the internet for the best method on solving the Rubik's Cube and have compiled my findings. This method I am going to show you today, with practice, should bring your solving time down to under two minutes. One of my students, within a month, was solving the Rubik's Cube in a minute and a half. I can solve the Rubik's Cube in approximately 30 seconds on average using the same method, plus a few shortcuts, which I will share in a later video. Now, I do not like long tutorials, so what I am going to do is go through the Rubik's Cube twice. Once, uh, first time with uh, a lot more detail, and the second time uh, just going a lot faster. So if you're like me and do not like long tutorials, then uh, skip ahead to the second time through. Uh, before we begin, I have my cheat sheet here, so I give you the right information. And I will show you what all these letters mean. So the U stands for upper, and that's moving the top face clockwise, top side clockwise. And U with this uh, line next to it is upper inverse, turning the top counterclockwise. The L, I teach this a little differently. Some people say L goes down. But I teach L moves the left side up, the left inverse goes down. Right, the R, right side up, right inverse, the opposite. F stands for front, moving the front face clockwise, front inverse, the opposite. B is for back, moving back clockwise, back inverse is the opposite. And now we will begin. We will scramble these. Okay, we have a scrambled cube. What we're going to do is uh, get a white cross up here. We already have a white line here. That'll help a little. But some people say to solve the white cross first on the yellow side. And this can help, but it's just a waste of time and should be avoided. We're going to start off here. I'm moving this white and orange over to the white and orange right here. And we have a pink and white. We're going to rotate that up. Green and white here. Rotate that down to the bottom. Move it over to the green side here. Move it over. Rotate this side up so the green's matching. Rotate it to the top. And then move this side back so you keep your pink and white in place. We have our blue and white. We're going to do the same thing. Rotate it over, rotate it up so the blues are together. Rotate it into place, and then move this side back down. And now we have our white cross. Now our next step is to uh, solve the white corners. And I'm going to teach you a very simple sequence for this, which is down, over, up, back. And I will demonstrate it with this piece here. A white, orange, and blue has to go in here with a white, orange, and blue. We're going to do turn right side down, the bottom over, right side up, bottom back. And keep doing that sequence until the piece is in place. Down, over, up, back. And it's in place. White, orange, and blue. And we find another one. Here's a pink, green, and white. Move it over the pink, green, and white sides. Then do that move until it's in place. Down, over, up, back. Down, over, up, back. And it's in place now. We have a blue, pink, and white. Move it over to the blue, blue, pink, and white. And do this sequence until it's in place. I went through it a little fast. And move the green, orange, and white here. Do the sequence, and it's in place. 
Once you get faster at it, you can, uh, you can learn the finger moves. And uh, that definitely helps. And now we're going to solve for the middle layer here. We're going to hold white on the top. This is where these moves come into play. We're going to put this green and pink in here. It has to go to the right. We're going to use the second move here. So upper, right, upper, inverse, right, inverse, upper, inverse, front, inverse, upper, front. Now it's in place there. We have this pink and blue here. Line up the pinks. And it has to go to the left, so we use this first move. So upper, inverse, left, upper, left, inverse, upper, front, upper, inverse, front, inverse. Now that's in place. This green and orange, rotate it so the greens are matched up has to go to the right, so we use the second move again. Upper, right, upper, inverse, right, inverse, upper, front, upper, front. And that was a front inverse, sorry about that. And at this point, you will see, there's four different uh, things you will see. Let's see if I can get one for you, another one. Okay, so this is one way. You you might have a single dot. We're trying to get a yellow cross here. So what we're going to do with the single dot is use this uh, third move here. Front, right, upper, right, inverse, upper, inverse, front, inverse. We have this. We're going to hold it as a backwards L, like so, and do the same move again. Front, right, upper, right, inverse, upper, inverse, front, inverse. We have a horizontal line. Hold it just like that and do the move again. And now we have the yellow cross and we're trying to solve for the entire uh, yellow side. Now we're going to hold a, a yellow to our left like this and do this uh, fourth move here. Right, upper, right, inverse, upper, right, upper, upper, right, inverse. Hold a yellow to our left still and do the move again. At this point, we have a single yellow on top. We're going to hold that to our left like this and do the move again. Now we have all yellows on top. What we're going to do is look for a pair. We want these two to match. We do not have any of that. So we're just going to do this fifth move to get a pair. So right, back, right, front, front, right, inverse, back, inverse. Right, front, front, right, right. Now we have a pair here. We don't have to worry about that. It, it just so happens we have a, a whole side that matches there. Uh, some people say that you should match the pairs up with their middles, but it doesn't, uh, with, their, with the same color, but it doesn't really matter. You could hold it on any color and it, it'll come out the same. So we're going to do this same move again holding the pairs in front of us. Right, back, right, front, front, right, inverse, back, inverse, right, front, front, right, right. Now we have all these pairs. Now we're going to line them up with our colors. We have a whole solved side. We're going to hold that in back. We don't always have that, but when you do, you hold it in back. And we have, we do this last move. Now this upper can also stand for upper inverse, as I will show demonstrate right now. Front, front. Uh, if we turned upper, these two colors don't match. We want them to match, like so. Now we're going to do left inverse, right inverse, front, front, left, right, upper, front, front. And we have the entire cube solved. Now I will show you a different, couple different ways you can see the cube. So here we do not have a solved side. So it doesn't really matter how you hold the cube. So we're going to do this last move. Front, front, upper, left, inverse, right, inverse, front, front, left, right, upper, front, front. Now we have a solved side. So we'll hold it in back and we'll do this move again. Front, front, upper. We get, match up the colors here. Left inverse, right inverse, front front, left right, upper, front front. 
and we have the cube solved. That's pretty simple. I hope uh, this is helping you. Now we'll go through it once more a lot faster for those of you who do not like the long tutorials uh, like me. We have a scrambled cube. First thing to do is get the white cross. White and orange is in place. We have the pink and white. Rotate it to the pink. And rotate it up. Green and white. Rotate it over to green and white. Rotate it up. Blue and white. Rotate it over. Match it up with its color. Move it into place. Then move this back so we keep our, our white and orange in place. Now we have the white cross. Now we're going to solve the white corners. Move this white, orange, and green over to the white, orange, and green. And do the simple sequence down, over, up, back. And that's in place. White, orange, and blue. Move it over to the white, orange, and blue. Right side down, bottom over. Right side up, bottom back. And keep doing that until it's in place, like so. White, the pink, and green. Move it over to the white, pink, and green side. And do the down over up until it's in place, like so. White, uh, white, pink, and red. Hi, right. that's a white, pink, and blue. And uh, we'll do that same sequence till it's in place. The finger moves definitely help with speed. And now we're solving for the middle layer. Match up the green with green. And green and orange has to go to the right, so we use this second move. Upper, right, upper, inverse, right, inverse, upper, inverse, front, inverse, upper, front. That's in place now. Now we're going to solve for our blue and orange. It has to go to the left, match up the blues. Do that first move. And we have blue and pink here, match up the blues has to go to the right, so we do the second move there. And now this thing's in backwards, so what we're going to do is uh, do one of these moves to pull it out. We're going to pull it out to the left. We'll have it on our left here. So upper inverse, left, upper, left inverse, upper, front, upper inverse, front inverse. Well, now we have it back here. I'm going to rotate it over to the green and do the move again because it has to go to the left. Now we're looking for the yellow cross here. We're going to hold it with a backwards L, like so, and do this third move. Front, right, upper, right, inverse, upper, inverse, front, inverse. Hold the line horizontally and do it again. We have the yellow cross. Now we're working on solving all yellows on top. We're going to hold this yellow to our left, like this, and do this fourth move. Right, upper, right, inverse, upper, right, upper, upper, right, inverse. Hold a yellow to our left and do the move again. Now we have a single yellow on top. We're going to hold that to our left and do the move again. Now we're looking for a pair, which we don't have. So what we're going to do is do this fifth move. Right, back, right, front, front, right, inverse, back, inverse, right, front, front, right, right. Now we have a pair here. We're going to hold that in front of us and do the move again. We have a side solved, all pairs now. Hold the solved side in back, like so, and do this last move. Front, front, upper, left inverse, right inverse, front, front, left, right, upper, front, front. And we have the whole cube solved. Now we're going to Another demonstration here. Just for those of you who didn't see it earlier, this uh, upper can also be an upper inverse. So front, front, we're going to line up the colors. So we did an upper inverse there. Left inverse, right inverse, front, front, left, right, upper inverse again, front, front. And we have it all solved. So thanks for watching. I hope it helped you. Uh, you learn to solve the Rubik's Cube and be watching for more videos. So thanks for watching.